Get your fucking peas up, man. But what happens is, do you know why most people can't survive on the wages that they've got? They spend too much money. They spend too much Ross Clark fucking money. They live, they live outside their means. Everyone feels entitled to a fucking holiday once, maybe not twice a year. What for? You're only working a 40 hour week. You're doing the bare minimum. Yes, if you work 60 hours a week, 70 hours a week, yes, you deserve a holiday. Only if you're not in debt. Now, if you're in mortgage debt, that's different. But if you're in debt for whatever reason, that previous holiday, that car you got outside, you do not deserve to go on holiday. Your finances are a representation of your hard work or your work ethic, let's call it. If you've got savings, considerable amount of savings, not a grand in savings, I mean, you've got a good amount of savings, that means you've been working hard. If you don't have a savings, okay, you should have properties and that, fine. It's not all about having a lot of cash in your bank account. But if you're in debt, you owe all these companies money and that, that is a representation that you are not smart with your money. You do not know how to manage your finances. You know, like they perform credit checks on people, you know, like people must just think to see like how much debt and that. Do you know what a credit check is? A credit check is an overview of how sensible and responsible you are with money. If I wanted to know whether or not someone is responsible with money, I don't need to ask them. I don't need to see how they dress or, you know, what, what type of trainers they wear or what watch they got or whatever in it. Yeah, I can just look at their credit check. Because there's some people, they don't wear nice clothes and that, and you think, oh, it's because they're sensible with their money. No, some people just don't care about fashion. If I wanted to know how sensible someone is with their money, I look at their credit check. Are they defaulting every year on year? Have they got a Mercedes, but the bailiffs are turning up at their fucking door? Threatening to take away their car unless they fucking pay up. So like, a man will put a clamp on your car, knock on your door and say, well, boy, you ain't moving this car. We ain't taking this clamp off this car until you pay up the money that you owe. So where we live in? Things and prices are going to go up. What you going to do about it, blood? You're going to cry and moan about it or you're going to start grinding? If you have no kids, no use, you should be working on the weekends. I'm not saying work 365 days a year. But if in a four week month, maybe work one weekend minimum. Maybe two. Depends on who you are, whatever in it. I'm saying if you don't have kids and that. If you have kids, then yeah, you're going to need to spend time with your youths and that on the weekend and that. But even then, hopefully, you know, you live with your partner and they take the kids for one weekend and that. Sacrifice has got to be made. Prices are going up. Energy prices, everything's going up. You're going to have to adapt to it. You can't moan about it. Complaining on, the, on, on, on social media and that ain't going to do nothing. Bill for get paid at the end of the month. Food for buy in the shop. 